Our next guest is an Academy Award nominated actress starring in a new film entitled The Missing. It opens November 26th. Here's the lovely Kate Blanchett, everyone. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, is it uh, true, and I think more or less it is true, that uh, to be on this show and maybe to do other things, you've actually flown from Rome, Italy uh, to be here, and then you have to go right back to Rome, Italy? In about three minutes. Is that right? I think well, so. Well, I can't, I can't thank you enough for uh, taking the trouble to do that. That's got to be quite grueling for everyone. It's a bit tiring because I'm with child. And congratulations, oh, well, congratulations to you. Thank you. This is your second trial? Number two. Number two. But the, the great thing is that the character I'm playing in this film with Wes Anderson that he's directing, she's actually pregnant. Mm -hmm. So it's, um, and that's how I found out I was pregnant, which was very odd. Well, I don't get that. What does well, it mean? No, I, well, I accept <laughs> Wes told me. He had a boy, boy, his voices. No, I had to be fitted with a prosthetic belly because I wasn't pregnant, or I didn't realize I was. Right. And I, I don't know if you've ever had a plaster cast made of yourself, but it's very <laughs> odd. Of you, course I have. have I've had get... one made of myself. <laughs> Several, in fact. <laughs> but you have to get naked in front of strangers who you get to know very quickly. Uh, they lubricate you. You fell for this? Yeah. <laughs> well, no wonder you're pregnant. Oh. <laughs> and I fainted. Oh, during the process, well, you actually... Well, yeah. No, what they do is they cover you, they lubricate you in this kind of jelly stuff. <laughs> it's very confronting. And then they plaster cast you all over with this plaster of Paris. And uh -huh. they do the front and the back, but it's like a corset. So when they started to do the back, I couldn't breathe and I fainted. And then there's all this black plastic to catch all the plaster. And I woke, you know, after you faint, you don't know what's happened. Mm -hmm. And I woke up naked, covered in jello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm buying on black plastic, thought, this ain't good. No. <laughs> <laughs> Has that happened to you before? <laughs> not that I remember. No, of course not. Well, what an odd way to, to find out, but congratulations. Thank you. And, and is it, can I ask how far along uh, you are in the process? About four months. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. good for you. And, and you had no trouble with the, the being sick the first three months? That kind no, of thing? Well, no, I was disgustingly healthy the first with the mm -hmm. first baby, but this time I've been really grumpy and difficult to live with. Mm. So, um, so you're on location now for the remainder of the pregnancy, probably, right? During, oh, the, only for the two, two, more, two more weeks. Oh, two more weeks. Oh, that's good. That's good. And, and what is it like living and working in Rome and being pregnant? It's great. I mean, I do like pasta, but it's... It, <laughs> what? I don't know. <laughs> Did I miss something? I, I don't know what that is. <laughs> Um, but it's, it is, it's, it's a monoculture, so after a while you sort of crave Lebanese food and <laughs> you can't really get it, so. <laughs> what is it like, uh, what is it like having, the, how old is the, the one child now? Dash, he's almost two. Two, oh, two years old. Now, that must be a great time, right? It's sublime because he's, you know, he's developing language and he's doing it in Italy, which is very sweet. Mm -hmm. I called him last night and... Andrew, my husband, said, say hi to mummy. And there's this poor, you know how kids breathe on the phone? You can hear them thinking. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and there's just sort of really sleazy breaths. And he went, <laughs> <laughs> and then he went, ciao, Bella. <laughs> <laughs> that was so sweet. It's very cute. <laughs> yeah, I like that. All right. Uh, stay right there. Stay pregnant. We'll be right back <laughs> with Kate, Kate Blanchett, everybody. <laughs> Tell me uh, how you started making films. Where, where did you begin? Was it, I mean, how, how, what, how does that process uh, take place? You, well, you wanted to be an actress all your life? No. Yes, no? No. No, I yeah. sort of thought it was an odd thing to do. Yeah. No, I, I sort of um, went to university and went traveling and went through Europe and down to Egypt and was kind of trying to escape acting, really. I was actually inadvertently in a film in Egypt, but I'd never seen it. Wow, now that, that sounds, is that a good story or a bad story? <laughs> well, it's odd. Uh, I was just in this weird place called the Oxford House. I don't know if any of you have been to Cairo. It probably has been burnt down. And there's, um, in the foyer, people were always printing passports and money. And mm. there was some deposed Turkish prince who had, was having a relationship with Miss Denmark in the corner room. Ooh. But in the, it was a very odd place. And I had no money. And so the girl I was traveling with hooked up with this Scottish guy who was... Oh, God, this is a long story. Oh, but I love stuff like this. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get enough of this kind of thing. And he, I had no money, and I needed some money to stay for a week longer in Cairo. Right. And he was recruiting 
English, no, American looking extras to be in an Egyptian boxing film. <laughs> and they were going to pay like <laughs> two, I, two, two Egyptian pounds, which would have been paid my rent for the week. And I said, sure. And it was, and you're going to get free falafel, so getting it fed. <laughs> and it was so boring. The director actually had one of those megaphones with director written in Arabic on the side. <laughs> I don't know what they did. They sort of had this boxer. And the Egyptian crowd, who were cheering the Egyptian boxer, were amazing. Mm -hmm. Those extras were phenomenal. Yeah. And then when it got to us, we had given these pom-poms, and they were going, look at that, telling us to cheer. And we just went, it was so embarrassing. We just went, yay. <laughs> <laughs> and they didn't feed us, and so I left. And so I was like La Blanchette walking off the set. And, so. and, but it, as far as you know, it actually was completed and uh, was released, the film? I'm sure it was a masterpiece. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, those that. Egyptian boxing movies. There's a regular Rocky there. Yeah. Um, <laughs> now, let, let's uh, show people, uh, t t tell people a little bit about your film, uh, The Missing, and then show the folks a clip. Uh, directed by Ron Howard, and I'm working with Tommy Lee Jones. It's set in the Southwest, um, pioneering mm -hmm. country. And it's a story of redemption, really. It's a father-daughter story. I play uh, uh, a homesteader with two girls, one of whom goes missing. She's captured by a renegade groups of um, Indians and whites who are trying to sell girls across the border into slavery. And um, I have to recruit Tommy Lee, who I'm estranged from and hate, actually, mm -hmm. um, who's my father to help me find the girls. All right, and you know the scene that we're gonna see here? I think so, I think that's where he's tried to come back to reconcile himself with me and I want nothing to do with it. All right, let's take a look. Yeah. Oh man, <laughs> it's called The Missing. It opens November 26th. And you're on your way back to Italy. Yeah. Well, travel safely. Thank you. Congratulations on the baby. Good luck with everything. Yeah, Pleasure too. to see you again. Thank you. Kate Blanchett, everyone.